it's just sad to me that, you know, the Salvation Army is in this community, in this, this section of the city, attempting to be a beacon of hope, and then someone comes along and does this kind of destruction to the Army. Around 3 Wednesday morning, the Army was targeted by copper thieves looking to make a quick profit. And there's copper, you can see here, there's copper in here and it runs throughout. So this is useless. It's yep. just what's right out here. Correct, yep. Copper was what they were looking for. They used a ladder to climb onto the roof and stripped five AC units. In exchange, they left behind over $50,000 in damages. Their potential profit, a mere $400. It's just a sad thing uh, because they've affected the people in the neighborhood. Um, and that's, that's not good. So after spending all that time stripping the six AC units, the thieves left the most important thing behind. The copper. I refer to it as the booty, but this is what they were after. They were after all of this and then these pieces here because there's copper that runs throughout. The crooks were scared off when a neighbor spotted them. They left everything behind, including their ladder, which police will scan for fingerprints. If they'd like their ladder back, they can give me a call and I'm certain the North Little Rock Police Department would be pleased to bring the ladder back to them. But Sergeant Brian Dedrick wants to do more than just give these thieves their ladder. He'd also like to arrest them, along with those involved in the city's other copper thefts. The problem is it's happening everywhere. So far this month, there have been 13 reported incidents, over 20 in July. The amount is very high. Um, but we're, it's not, they're not alone. And although unsure of how exactly his organization will be affected, Captain Glick says his army will not retreat. I don't know what's going to happen, but what I do know is the Salvation Army is committed to moving forward.